Okay, back to talk to about to you about uh, how Satan, uh, how the Roman Empire is trying to control the heads of the dragon now. Uh, the dragon was explained earlier was uh, the seven empires: pagan empires, Luciferian empires, <coughs> world empires that rule over Jerusalem. And we're, so it goes back to uh, the seven empires: are Egypt, Babylon, Assyria. <coughs> excuse me. Okay, uh, Mede Persia, Greece. Rome and the Ottoman Empire. Those are seven empires that have ruled over Rome. Now, seven headed dragon is going to fight with itself until one of the heads gains control. And uh, Rome actually created Islam, anyways. Uh, but that black stone has moved around all the way from ancient Babylon. Uh, they claim it's a meteorite that fell from heaven. Uh, but and Satan, remember, Jesus said that uh, he said Satan fell like lightning from heaven. Uh, but that black stone is representative of Lucifer. Uh, there's also a black stone altar at the, which is considered the largest black stone in the world at the United Nations. So uh, basically, Rome has been uh, working to try to uh, uh, take over all the heads, and and uh, so the next chapter is on how they go about that. They created Islam. Islam turned against them. Then they had the Knights Templars, and then the Knights Templars weren't, you know, the, the Jews got control of Jerusalem. So they finally brought about the Jesuits, the Jesuits and the Rothschilds we talked about earlier. Uh, and the, uh, the, the the Rothschilds brought about the Zionist movement. Uh, they And uh, they went ahead and they uh, created world, the Jesuits created World War One in order to get back uh, Jerusalem and Israel from... Uh, from the land of Israel, Palestine, from the land from the Ottoman Empire. So they had the Rothschilds went ahead and gave a loan to the Ottoman Empire for the war for World War One, and uh, Jesuits controlled the wars from both sides. Uh, the Ottomans lost, and so the Rothschilds uh, stepped in and they said, uh, "Okay, just give us Palestine in return for a debt payment." And and uh, so that's how they got that back. And it, it, just before that, the uh, Rothschilds had also uh, the Jesuits created the Zionist movement, and the Rothschilds funded it, and uh, and they put the uh, six-sided star on the flag of Israel when they created Israel. Uh, it's a, it's the star of Saturn or the star of Satan. It's an old ancient uh, pagan Wiccan symbol. Uh, uh, they use six a six-pointed star, a five-pointed star. A six-pointed star is a male and female triangle, and. Uh, it's a hexagram, so it's used for hexes, put hexes on people, which way it did to the Jews in World War II uh, in Germany and other places. But um, they, uh, so they, they created the World War One. they took uh, Palestine, and then they put it underneath, the, underneath uh, Great Britain, which they already had control of anyways. Uh, the monarchs of Great Britain are, are uh, head Freemasons, and they, uh, they work for the Jesuits. And uh, this goes all the way back to King James, who was King of Scotland and King of England. And King James uh, was being King of Scotland and King of England and King of France, uh, technically. Uh, you know, in name, and he was King of France. But uh, the, uh, the Freemason Rite started in, with the York Rite in England and the Scottish Rite. And that was at the time of King James. And the, and the, the uh, Freemasons... Uh, I'll use a King James Bible. They want their King James only. You'll see all cults that uh, are started by Freemasons are King James only. It was a corrupt, intentionally corrupt uh, Bible translated from the uh, Bishop's Bible, the Catholic Bishop's Bible, which was came from the Latin Vulgate, corrupt Latin Vulgate. It has a lot of pagan symbolism in it. It was made to silence William Tyndale's translation, which came from the original Hebrew and Greek, done by the Spirit of God, and... Uh, and the Geneva Bible that came after that, that had footnotes in it exposing the uh, the, the Vatican as the uh, harlot that rides the beast, and the popes as the Antichrist, and they were they were correct. And anyways, but King James had 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 uh, persecuted the Christians, and uh, the the uh, Puritans fled persecution under King James in 1620 and went to uh, went on the Mayflower to the New World. And uh, they're fleeing persecution under King James. And uh, so, anyways, the uh, but the the Jesuits went out about, and they they went out into all the nations, and and they began to they ca they caused wars. 
they created the British Empire. They started taking over nations and putting it under the British Empire. The Rothschilds were in charge of the British Empire under the Jesuits. Uh, and the Rothschilds started uh, put, setting up central banks in all the different nations and uh, setting up their currencies. They were loaning money to nations for the wars that the Jesuits were starting and controlling. And uh, the nations had to pay them back and became indebted. And then they... Uh, they took over, they started printing their own currency, so you'll notice that all the currencies of the world kind of look the same, it's all because they're owned by the same people. Uh, it's all coming out of the Vatican and Rome, and uh, the Jesuits run it, the Rothschilds work for them, manage the money. And uh, so, uh, and the Jesuits go into different religions and organizations, and they infiltrate, and they take them over, and they're trying to unite all the world as a one in, into one world religion. Uh, pagan religions all have things in common anyways. They all pray with beads and bells and they chant and they and they have a lot of the same symbolism with the uh, six-pointed star in, of Saturn and and uh, you know heart symbols and and they have you know some of them they have different sacrifices. They had pyramids. The ancient pyramids came from paganism uh, went all over the world from ancient Babylon. So they're trying to unite this one world religion and rebellion to God. And one thing about the uh, Tower of Babel that uh, Nimrod set up back in ancient Babylon to, to uh, unite the world under Satan, Lucifer, under himself. Anyways, uh, that, that Tower of Babel is also seen, uh, you know, the, the uh, EU was modeled after the Tower of Babel. And, uh, but the space program at NASA, too, is kind of a Tower of Babel where they're trying to go in and control space. Now they're trying to see everybody from space. Uh, keep their the all-seeing eye on everybody and be at the top. You know, they're trying to get to heaven by a rocket ship instead of by Jesus Christ. You can't get to heaven by a rocket ship, you know, and, and by your own good works and by your own efforts. And uh, so they try to judge everybody by law, but they break the law themselves. You know, Jesus Christ keep and set people free and to uh, give us his spirit living in our hearts because man's heart is naturally wicked. Anybody trying to be justified by law is condemned because the law only condemns you because you have a wicked heart. So you need Jesus Christ. You need to turn from your sins and, and, uh, and thank God for his forgiveness that he provided when Jesus Christ died on the cross for sins of the world and receive new life through his resurrection, faith in his resurrection. And uh, live by faith in him. It's got nothing to do with religious rituals. Religious rituals are all part of paganism. And uh, But they're trying to unite the whole world under one uh, religion. Unite the heads of the beast. Uh, so they took control. They took dominance. In World War II, they set up the United Nations. They also have a lot of uh, little organizational structures like NATO and the EU and the Bilderberg Group and the CFR and all these different groups are all different groups that are just part of uh, the organization under the Jesuits at the Vatican. Uh, but everything is brought together as as one world government at the uh, at the United Nations. Uh, so all the world, all the uh, nations of the world agreed at the United Nations on September 25th, 2008, to fulfill the New World Order agenda by 2015 of a one world government and. Uh, by September 25th, 2015, and so that's their goal. That's what you know. The Bible prophesied in Daniel 9:27 of a seven-year agreement that would be uh, the tribulation. That would be the uh, uh, you know there'd be uh, a persecution, and in the middle they would set up the abomination of desolation. If you go to the uh, United Nations website, you'll see that they have the uh, Fatima statue, UN.org. Uh, I think is the is the uh, website address, but the, uh, the they have the Fatima statue. Uh, Fatima uh, was a deception by the Vatican to get Muslims united and praying to the uh, to the goddess, the mother goddess, which Catholicism calls Mary. They have different. They call it, you know, paganism calls it different names in different places and different religions, but it's all the same thing. So they're trying to unite the world under this mother goddess and with the black stone too and. Uh, of ancient paganism there that goes all the way back to uh, ancient Babylon and ancient Mesopotamia the fertile fertile crescent uh, just after the flood back around you know the, the mid 2000s BC like 2500 BC 
Uh, the most common idol, they had lots of pyramids that were found, uh, archaeologists found in that area, but the most common idol that they found was the mother goddess with the crescent moon symbol, you know. Uh, by the way, this, it, it, it's uh, all the ancient stuff is all in that area of the world, right where the Bible says that civilization began. Uh, so that's just more proof that the Bible is true and accurate. But uh, but the, the most common idol was this mother goddess with this crescent moon, and so that's 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 what they're uniting together. All the pagan religions are coming together uh, to worship this mother goddess idol, uh, this virgin mother goddess, and and the. Uh, and the black stone now Jesus was born God came into the world through an act of God and not of man uh, it was a miraculous event uh, but you know Adam and Eve were prophet it was prophesied to Adam and Eve that God would uh, send a, you know the Savior the Messiah to come to sacrifice for as a sin as a sacrifice for the sins of the world uh, when they sinned and they were kicked out of the Garden of Eden he told them that he made he made animal skins for them and so it was always known to the human race that there had to be someone to come and pay the penalty for the sins of the whole world. Uh, you know, so, but you need to uh, just repent. It's a, it's a war between Satan and, and Jesus Christ. Satan wants to be God. Jesus Christ is how God shows himself to us. Uh, he sits on the throne and Satan's always trying to take over. Satan is a created spirit. And and uh, he he's lives in rebellion. And, and that's all part of the plan because God wanted... You just see what is, you know, how, how much destruction in there is in the world as a result of rebellion against God, the Creator. And, uh, you know, Satan walks around on his self-righteousness, uh, trying to blame God for everything. But it's Satan that screwed everything up, that, dis that rebelled against God, tried to take over. And, uh, you know, and he tries to promise everybody that they'll be gods if they follow him. And so they're planning this major depopulation. It's always been the goal of the United Nations uh, for depopulation. They want to depopulate the planet over 90, more than 90 percent of the planet, and uh, you know, so and enslave everybody else with uh, microchips. And the Bible prophesied about this, called it the mark of the beast. But we're going to talk about that later. Right now, I just wanted to cover in this chapter how the Vatican is bringing about this. Uh, you know, taking over the heads of the dragon, bringing about the one world government. In the next chapter, we'll talk about uh, we'll talk about how the Vatican uh, is taking over Jerusalem and how you know they've already taken over Jerusalem. But we're going to show how that uh, all the stages of it and what's going to happen, what the Bible says is going to happen. And uh, they use a lot of propaganda. Uh, you know, Jesus said there'd be wars and rumors of wars, but do not be alarmed. They want you to be alarmed, and that's why there's wars and rumors. Of wars, they want you to turn to them and trust them for the answers. But we need to turn to God and trust Him for the answers. So, okay, uh, thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next video.